हे गाइस वेलकम टू एन साइंस वी आर रीडिंग क्लास सिक्स चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन साइंस एयर अराउंड अस दिस इज़ द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास सिक्स नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट वी हैव लर्न इन चैप्टर सिक्स दैट ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स रिक्वायर एयर बट हैव यू एवर सीन एयर यू माइंड नॉट हैव सीन एयर बट श्योरली यू मस्ट हैव फेल्ट इट्स प्रजेंस इन सो मैनी वेज You notice you notice it when the leaves of trees or the clothes hanging on a clothes line away pages of the open book begin fluttering when the fan is switched on the moving air makes it possible for you to fly your kites do you remember activity 3 in chapter 3 in which we separate the sand and sand sawdust by winnowing winnowing is more effective in moving air you may have noticed that during storms the wind blow at the very high speed it may even uproot trees and blows off the rooftops have you ever played with that firki this is firki leg activity 1 let us make a firki of our own following the instructions shown in figure 11.2 Hold the sticks of the firki and place it in different direction in an open area. Move it a little back and forth. Observe what happens. Does the firki rotate? What makes a firki rotate? Moving air, isn't it? Have you seen a weather cock? It shows the direction in which the air is moving at the place. In air, present everything around us. Close your fist. What do you have in it? Nothing. Try the following activity to find out. Activity two. Take take an empty open bottle. It is is it really empty or does it have something inside? Turn it upside down. Is something inside it now? Now dip the open mouth of the bottle into the bucket filled with water as shown in figure eleven point four. Observe the bottle. Does water enter the bottle now? Tilt the bottle slightly. Does the water now enter the bottle? Do you see bubbles coming out of the bottle of hair? Any bubbly sound? Can you now guess what was in the bottle? Yes, you are right. It is air that was present in the bottle. The bottle was not empty at all. In fact, it was filled completely with air. Even when you turn it upside down. that is why you notice that the water does not enter the bottle when it is pushed in an inverted position as there was no space for air to escape when the bottle was tilted the air was able to come out in the form of bubbles and water filled up the empty space that the air has occupied this activity show that air occupies space it fills all the space in the bottle it is present everywhere around us air has no color and one can see through it it is transparent our earth is surrounded by a thin layer of air this layer extended up to many kilometers above the surface of the earth and is and is called atmosphere as we move higher in the atmosphere the air gets rarer Now can you think mountaineers carry oxygen cylinder with them while climbing high mountain what is air made up of until the 18th century people thought that air was just one substance experiment have proved that it is really not so sure. air is a mixture of many gases what kinds of mixer is it let, let us find out about some of the major component of this mixture one by one water vapor We have learned earlier that air contains water vapor. We also show that when air comes in contact with the cool surface, it considers a drop of water appears on the colder uh, colder surface. The presence of water vapor in air is important for the water cycle in nature. Oxygen activity three. In the presence of your teacher, fix two small candles of the same length. on a table like both the candles cover one of the candles with an inverted glass tumbler observe both the candles carefully do both the candle continue continue to burn or go off you must have observed that the candle covered with glass tumbler got extinguished after some time whereas the other candle continued burning what can be the reason for this think about it 
it seems that the candle got extinguished between the component inside the glass tumbler which supported burning is limited most of the component is used by the burning candles however the other candle is getting continued supply of air this component of air which support burning is known as oxygen nitrogen in activity 3 did you observe that air is still present in the glass bottle even after the candle blew it out this indicate the presence of some component in the air which does not support burning the major part of the air does not support burning candle is nitrogen carbon dioxide in a closed rooms if there is some material that is burning you may have felt suffocations this is due to the excession or excess of carbon dioxide that may be accumulating in the room as the burning continues carbon dioxide makes up a small component of air around us plants and animal consume oxygen for the respiration and produce carbon dioxide plants and animal matter also consumes oxygen on burning and produce mainly carbon dioxide and a few other gases it is advisable not to burn dry leaves and discarded remains of the crop which pollute our surrounding dust and smoke the burning of fuel also produce smoke smoke contains a few gases and fine dust particle and is often harmful that is why you see long chimneys in the factories this takes a harmful smoke and gases away from our noses but brings it closer to the birds flying up in the sky dust particles are always present in the air activity 4 find a sunny room in your school home close all the doors and windows and curtains pull down to make the room dark now open the door or a window facing the sun just a little in such a way that it all that is allow sunlight to the enter the room only through a slit look carefully at the incoming beam of sunlight do you see some tiny shining particles moving the beam of sunlight what is this particles during winter you might have observed similar beam of sunlight filter through the trees in which dust particles appear in the dance mainly around they show that air also contain dust particles the presence of dust particles in air varies from time to time and place to the place we inhale air when we breathe through our nostrils fine hair and mucus are present inside the nose to prevent dust particle from getting into the respiratory system do you recall being scolded by your parents when you breathe through your mouth it you If you do that harmful dust particle may enter your body we may conclude that then that air contains some gases water vapor and dust particle the gases in air are mainly nitrogen oxygen a small amount of carbon dioxide and many other gases however there may be some variation in the composition of air from place to place we see that air contains mostly nitrogen and oxygen in fact these two gases together makes 99% of the air the remaining 1% is constituent of carbon dioxide and a few other gases and vapor, water vapor bujar is asking you why do you think the policeman in figure 11.8 is wearing a mask pahli want to know why the re- transparent glass of window if not wicked of regularly appear hazy bujo want to know why during an incidents of fire one is advised to wrap a woolen blanket over a burning object how does oxygen become available to animal and plant living in water and soil activity 5 take some water in a glass or a metal container heat it slowly on a the tripod stand well before the water begin to the boil look carefully at the inner surface of the container do you see tiny bubbles on the inside these bubbles come from the air dissolved in water when you heat the water to begin with the air dissolve in the scape as you continue heating the water in s- and the water itself turning into vapor and finally begin to the boil we learned in chapter 5 and 6 that the animal living in water used to dissolve oxygen in water the organism that lives in soil also nit- need oxygen to respire isn't it how do they get the air they need for respiration
एक्टिविटी सिक्स टेक अ लम्प ऑफ ड्राई सॉइल इन अ बीकर और अ ग्लास वाटर एड वाटर टू इट एंड नोट वट हैपन डू यू सी बबल्स कमिंग आउट फ्राम सॉइल दिस बबल इंडिकेट द प्रजेंस ऑफ एयर इन द सॉइल वेन द वाटर इज पोर्ड ऑन द लम्प ऑफ सॉइल इट डिसप्लेस द एयर विच इज सीन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बबल्स द ऑर्गेनिज दैट लिवस इन साइड द सॉइल एंड द प्लांट रूट रिस्पायर इन दिस एयर अ लॉट ऑफ बरोज एंड होल्स आर फॉर्मड इन डीप सॉइल बाय द एनिमल लिविंग इन द सॉइल दिस बरोज ऑल्सो मेक स्पेस अवेलेबल फॉर एयर टू मूव इन एंड आउट ऑफ द सॉइल हवेवर वेन इट रेन्स हैवली वाटर फिल्स अप ऑल द स्पेस इज अराउंड स्पेस इज ऑक्यूपाइड बाय द एयर इन द सॉइल इन दिस सिचुएशन एनिमल लिविंग इन द सॉइल हैव टू कम आउट फॉर एस्परेशन कुड This be the reason why earth worms come out of the soil only during heavy rains. Have you ever wondered why all the oxygen and atmosphere of atmosphere does not get used up through a large number of oxygen and large number of organisms are consuming it who is refilling the oxygen in the atmosphere? How is the oxygen in the atmosphere replaced? In chapter 4 we read about photosynthesis. In this process plant makes their own food and oxygen is producing along with it. Plant also consume oxygen for respiration but they produce more of it than than they consume. That is why we see plant produce oxygen. It is obvious that animal cannot live without plants. The balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere it maintain through respiration in plant and animal and by the photosynthesis in plants this shows the interdependence of plant and animal we can now appreciate how important air is for life on earth are there any other use of air have you heard about windmills look at figure 11.2 windmill The wind makes the windmill rotate. The windmill is used to draw water from tube wells and to run floor mills. Windmills are also used to generate electricity. Air help in the movement of sailing yacht, gliders, parachute and aeroplanes. Birds, bats and insect can fly due to the presence of air. Air also help in the dispersal of seed and pollen of flowers of several plants air plays an important role in water cycle thank you